Do 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 do. This is NCAA football super cup sports center. Snow, snow, just let it snow. Three of the four games hit by the white stuff. Can Wisconsin use the white stuff? Jump around and jump on Louisiana Lafayette. Can Empire State be in the right for Vermont against Old Miss and Archie Manning? Can Northern Illinois use the white stuff and make sure the MAC is not the joke conference against the use? And the chalk is there, but it's not FSU. It's Georgia State and Wake. Wake me up when this game ends, a lot of people will say. All this and more today on Super Cup Sports Center. Do 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 Hi everybody, Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Demon Deacons. The Demon Deacon should have their way with this team. Herbie, why don't you tell us about their star? Wake Forest is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. Kirk, I'm going to have to agree with you right here. I'm going with Wake Forest. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Short kickoff. Graham fields it at the 13. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right. He's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. Fagan is back in the gun. Fagan on first down. Incomplete. Royal was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Fagan comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He delivers. He should have had that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Oh, you bet it is, and he'll be reminded of that on the sideline for sure. They line up at the 33. Third down. Fagan with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Looks, and he's hammered as he lets it go. Intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. Looks like the quarterback was rattled by that pressure. Now, let me tell you, the best ones will sit there and take a hit and make the throw. Right. Second, Second down. Ball on the 48-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Skinner will hand it off. Ricks brings him down at the 44. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. They line up at the 44. It's third down. The Deacon go with the I formation. He's tackled at the 41. And the halfback runs for the first. The reason that play was successful is simple. They got a good push up front.
Jeff Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. A freezing cold day for this game between the Utah running Utes and the Northern Illinois Huskies. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Huskies. The Huskies really have their work cut out for them today here, Kirk. Utah is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. All right, here you go, kids. Utah will be victorious. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Kicks it off. Eaton takes it at the 14. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Well, folks, you're in for a treat today. Taking the field for this offense is a very, very talented running back. This offense really thrives on him getting things going on the ground. But, Brad, it's not going to be easy today. He's going up against a very tough run defense. Yeah, this defense has been watching film of his playmaking running back all week. They're up to the challenge, and if they shut him down, it can ultimately decide the outcome of this game. It's second down. The Husky set up in the gun. Kick it. Sets up the play action. And it's incomplete. He's just lucky that he got that pass away. The offensive line didn't protect the quarterback very well. The pressure was there in no time. Third, Third down, 10, 10 yards to go. On the, -yard line. the Huskies line up with trips left. Surveys the field. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. Tackle at the 27-yard line. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. They'll get the ball here at the 27. They line up in the shotgun. Smith hands off to the left. Hahn brings him down at the 25-yard line. Slayton comes away with two yards on the carry. They'll line up at the 25. It's second down and eight. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Hand off to the right. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. Seven-yard play. Seven-yard gain on the play. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Utes are lining up with three receivers. The counter, they'll bring him down at the 12. Well, Kirk, he managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. First and 10. They're threatening inside the 20. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Lateral's back. Missed tackle. He's knocked out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Four yards on that play. On the eight-yard line. Utah lines up with three receivers. Can't wrap him up. Castillo brings him down for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. They'll line it up again on third down. Utah comes out in the shotgun. He steps up, looking. End zone! Touchdown, Utah! And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They line up at the 24. Second down, three yards to go. Smith with three wide receivers. Slayton on a counter. 
Slayton picks up a yard on the play. They line up at the 23. It's third down and two to go. Utah lines up with three receivers. Here's the option. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first. Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Crusaders. The Rebels are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Ole Miss should win big, and chances are because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. I agree with you on this one. I'm picking up. Got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 81 takes it to 14. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. The offense will start at the 32. First and 10. Nice play fake. Surveys the field. Let's it fly. Complete. And they got him for a loss. Two yard loss. Loss of two on the play. They line up at the 30. It's second down and 12 to go. Ace backfield. Setting up the play action. Throwing left. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Third, Third down. Ball on the 30-yard line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Stepping up, he fires left side. His receiver has it. Tackle at the 43-yard line. And they fail to convert for the first down. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, coach, stepping up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. He gets it away. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he tackles him hard at the 26. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. Today we get to see this monster at linebacker try to contain a very good running back. What do you guys think of this matchup? This will be a classic matchup. If anyone is going to stop this running back, it'll have to be this linebacker. He's the leader of this defense, and they need him to step up. Man, there's going to be a lot of hitting down there in that field today. Second down. Ball on the 29-yard line. Yeah. Ole Miss comes out in the shotgun, feeds it to the back. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. A dive gets three yards on the play, so that'll make it third down. Third 
from their own 32-yard line. Here's third down, four yards to go. They're packed in tight on the line. He sheds it. He's tackled at the 38. He did a great job to break the tackle there and run for the first down, Coach. Yeah, they had it behind the line of scrimmage but they couldn't wrap him up. That was a big play, too, because it would have been fourth down. First and 10, ball on their own 38. A dive on the delay. Tackle at the 38-yard line. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Ace backfield, and to the back. Brought down at the 41-yard line. A dive gets three yards on the carry. This defense faces another third down. They line up in the shotgun. Manning fakes the handoff. He wants the long ball. Ryan just couldn't bring it in. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. Fourth and seven. Ole Miss lining up the punt. Newman is back to receive. He punts it. Newman takes it at the 20. He made some nice moves on that return. Yeah, but too many, Brad. Boy, he'd love to have another chance at that one. The field is wide open for a score. They'll take over at the 30-yard line. Two tight ends set. They hand it off. Fisher tackles him at the 31. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 10 to go. On the 30 -yard line. High formation here. Back to pass. Looks down the middle. Oh, what a spectacular grab. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing. And right there, it paid off. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Single set backfield. Hand off to the left. Booth brings him down at the 49. Three yards there on the play. From their own 47-yard line. Second and seven coming up here. One man backfield. Newman gets the draw again. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. No gain. Third it's third down seven. and seven to go. The -yard line. Three wide outs here. He's looking to pass. He's looking. Number one slings it over the middle. And this one falls incomplete. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Lamb is back deep to return. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Lamb signals for a fair catch. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll go to work at the 21. Manning back in the gun. It's a direct snap. And down he goes at the 27. A dive gets six yards on the carry, so that'll make it second down. From their own 27-yard line, it's second and four. The Rebel line up with three wide. Manning drops back into coverage, and the defense has it. 
And credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player and know what's going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. This safety was ready for today's game. Throws it. Burgess tackles him at the 41-yard line. Now Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. It's second down and four to go. They line up in an eye. Play fake. He rolls out to the left. He's looking for his man. That close to being intercepted. They got to the quarterback a little late there. Personal foul. Walking the pass. Automatic. First down. Big penalty there, guys. 15 yards. Uh, he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 28. From the gun. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. Waits till the last moment. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the field, to make plays like that. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number one lines up in the shotgun. He's under pressure. They'll make the sack. They line up at the 33. It's third down. They come out in a five-wide set. He drops back. He's in trouble. And he's going to come up with a sack. So the defensive end gets a big play there. This is exactly what you want to create. They line up at the 28. Second down. Newman lines up in the deep back. High formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it with the throw. This one is incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 28-yard line. It's third down. Back to pass. He looks. Down the middle. This one will fall incomplete, so that'll bring up a fourth down. The coach spoke really highly of this kid before the game, and now I can see why. If this guy keeps making plays like that, then there will be a lot more people than his coach talking about him in the future. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Number one is back in the gun, looking to throw. Sheds a tackler. Throws this one off balance, and it's incomplete. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. The 12th man will be the snow in this contest tonight between the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns and the Wisconsin Badgers. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Badgers. The Badgers are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, Kirk? Wisconsin is led by their outstanding linebacker. His talent is unparalleled, but what really makes him stand out is his leadership. His team responds to his no-quit attitude, and they should win big today. i got to go with the favorite in this one. I'm picking the The 
We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And it's off. Vincent fields it at the 19. Jake's off a tackle. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right, he's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Badger line up with a single setback to it. And down he goes at the 45. Maybe got two feet on the play. It's third and seven. Ball on the 45-yard line. Wisconsin comes to the line with three wide. Wilson drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And this one's going to get intercepted. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. They'll start this drive at the 42-yard line. The Raging Cajun set up in the gun. Jones on the run, and they make the stop at the 43. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. They line up at the 43. It's second and nine. Mitchell lines up in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Third down. They'll work from the shotgun. Looks to pass. He looks. Fires. Way to look it in. Solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, that was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit. First down. The Badger go with the eye formation. Feeds it to the back. And that was a good stop by the. 